largely used by young and middle-aged adults, Tumblr is a blogging platform where writers and designers can share ideas and receive feedback. Much less formal than many other blogging platforms, a large portion of Tumblr is inhabited by avid fans of pop culture, music, movies, and TV. Another section of the site is dedicated to do-it-yourselfers. There is also a large section of the site dedicated to art, writing, and design. Half social networking site, half traditional blog, information, ideas, and funny cat videos are gathered and accessed quickly and effectively. Tumblr may not be the best place to host an online portfolio, but it's an excellent place to find inspiration and share ideas. Plunge deep enough into Tumblr's depths and you'll find that it has a little bit of everything. I would highly recommend Tumblr, especially for the beginning blogger. It's a good way to get your name out onto the web, as well as an excellent source for ideas about design and communication, as well as in many other areas. Tumblr has a dashboard style very similar to that of Twitter or Facebook. It was built to handle short posts or artwork, rather than long posts. However, many people who use Tumblr post long stories, detailed explanations on how to do things, blocks of poetry, and large pieces of art. To help the dashboard flow more smoothly, Tumblr created a feature known as a Read More Break. The Read More hides any text following it and inserts a link that allows other users to access the full post in another location. This allows users who may not be interested in a given post to move past it on their dashboard without needing to scroll through endless lines of text. The ability to post updates using a Read More page break is essential to any beginning Tumblr user and is surprisingly simple, once you find the feature. After logging in, the first page you see is the dashboard. It's easy to see where to create a post. The icon bar at the head of your dashboard allows you to post a variety of items, text, photos, Quotes, links, chats, audio, and video files are all supported on Tumblr. Today we're just going to do a simple text post. Click on the icon labeled text. The post box will open. The first thing your post needs is a title. The text I prepared to use is a snippet from a story, so I'm going to title this Sadie Snippet 1. Next, I move my cursor down into the Your Text Here box and click. I can now start entering the post body text. I'm going to use pre-written text, so I'll go to the text and highlight all of it. By pressing Ctrl C on Windows or Command C on a Mac, I can copy the text. Moving back to the post and making sure I'm ready to type, I can then paste the text by pressing Ctrl V on Windows or Command V on a Mac. This text isn't too long, but it is long enough to warrant to read more. To create a read more, I first need to decide where I want to break my post. One way to do this is to add space before your text and create a short summary. I don't want to do that in this post, so instead I'm going to break the text right after the first paragraph. The read more is deceptive. Many beginners can't figure it out and it's because it's easier than everyone thinks it is, just somewhat tricky to find. With your cursor at the end of the first paragraph, press enter or return once to create a blank line. A plus symbol will appear to the left of the line. Click on the plus. Several icons pop up. The one we are interested in is the one farthest to the right of the line. A gray box containing an ellipses or three small dots. Click on it. Wavy lines with keep reading in the center should appear. That's it. That's all you need to do to create a read more line break. Scroll to the bottom of the post and add whatever tags you would like. Tags are used to sort information and keep track of what a given post is about as it is shared by other authors. So it's best to use words and short phrases relevant to the content you are posting. When you are done entering your tags, click post to upload the text to your blog. From here, we can see that the post is much shorter than it first appeared with a keep reading link at the bottom. Click on it and you can see the full post within your actual blog. Creating the link is much easier than it first appears. Tumblr has many other great features that are similarly hidden. 
such as adding GIFs, videos, and art, and opening a floating rich text editor when text is highlighted within the posting box. From beginners to professionals, Tumblr is a great source of ideas and inspiration. Thanks for watching.